The Treasurer says it's the beginning of a new age of public investment in New South Wales. Daniel Mookie has handed down the first state Labor budget in more than a decade. It promises more social housing, upgraded hospitals and pay rises for public sector workers. The budget features $13 billion in savings. It forecasts a $7.8 billion deficit this financial year and then a slim surplus of around $800 million next financial year. The Treasurer turns a new page on the state's finances. This Labor budget signals the beginning of a new age of public investment that benefits the many, bringing an end to the era of privatisation that handed profits to the few. Treasury predicts the state will be slightly back in the black next financial year, but Daniel Mookie isn't celebrating yet. I'm certainly not going to suggest that this surplus is locked and loaded by any means. This is a budget built on quicksand. This is a budget built on dodgy assumptions about expenditure. Unions are celebrating with $3.6 billion set aside for public sector wage rises to tackle shortages of essential workers like teachers, police and nurses. But doctors say the increase to the health budget was paltry. What we are seeing here is a relative cut. For patients this will mean longer waiting for emergency. There's money to build around 9,300 social, affordable and private homes in the next 16 years and nearly $2 billion to build infrastructure to support new housing. We have a $10 billion a year housing crisis in Sydney and the challenge of that scale is only being addressed modestly by this budget. Ironically, high property prices, driven by a shortage of supply, have helped prop up the budget, with the government collecting more stamp duty. And that's not the only budget boost. A tax discount for large multinational corporations undergoing a restructure will be trimmed and is expected to generate $750 million in revenue this financial year. The government is cutting back on consultants, senior bureaucrats and marketing spending and is freezing politicians' pay. The figure that needs highlighting today is the $2.3 billion that we will save in interest repayments over the next four years. That would build more than 40 primary schools. A proposed tunnel through the Blue Mountains and a fast rail program have been shelved. The Ultimo powerhouse rebuild scrapped and expansions to dams cancelled. But around $14 billion has been allocated to Sydney Metro West, even though it's being reconsidered, as the Treasurer tries to change the track of state debt.